Look at that. We've got a snowbird now, taking a bath. Extreme rhetoric is just a way to keep the troops fired up. But rhetoric gives meaning and shape to a political movement. Little boy. Over the past six decades, conservatives' language of decay, despair, and decline have created a group of Americans who fervently believe in this dark narrative and are determined to stop the snowbird. Oh, Hosp scared him out of there. They aren't going to give up just yet. The era of crises could end, but only when this group of conservatives makes its peace with today's America. They are misty-eyed in their devotion to a distant republic of myth and memory, and yet they are passionate in their dislike of the messy, multiracial, capitalist, and welfare state democracy that America actually has been for half a century, a fifth of this country's history. At some point, when they come to realize that you cannot love America in theory and hate it in fact. For more on this, go to CNN.com slash Fareed. You can read my Washington Post column this week. Oh, is there any more there? Started. Oh no. <laughs> All the hospitals. There's a branch in front of the jungle. He joins me now from the Baker Institute at Rice University in Houston, Texas. Jim, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you, Fareed. I'm glad to be with you. Tell me first with your treasure.